chatting to Peter Musket about his runners for Lomoran's King's Plate Day on Saturday, the 6th of January, at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. Peter, thank you so much for your time. Uh, only a pleasure, Robin. Um, you've settling three runners on the day, starting out with race two, the 1,000 meter trippy stakes. Um, you're sending out Cold Shine. So this is a debut run. What can you tell us about this one? Yeah, he's a, he's a very nice, neat uh, son of Lancaster Bomber, uh, speed pedigree. Um, he's been to Kenilworth, he put up a pleasing gallop there, uh, despite being a little bit green. Um, if he's not too green on debut, I think we can look forward to a very encouraging first run. Fantastic. Okay, race three, Franschhoek Motor Museum Winchester Sprint Cup. You're sending out your big horse, Issy Vunga Vungu. Um, he's obviously had a little bit of a break since the Durban season, but how's he doing? Yeah, his last run uh, was in the Mercury Sprint. Uh, he had a nice long holiday after that. He's come back, very gradual increase in his preparation. Uh, he's been to Kenilworth twice. Uh, both times impressing. Uh, he's probably he's not fully wound up as Saturday is not not his grand final for the for the Cape summer season. Uh, so he will take benefit out of Saturday's race. Uh, but I still, despite the big weight, I still expect him to be very very competitive. Lovely. He makes a habit of stealing silverware from other jurisdictions. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and then your last one is in race eight, the 1200 meter Jetmaster Stakes. Um, you're sending out down by the river. Um, so he won his maiden over 1600 at Scottsville with Calvin, and you've got Calvin up again on Saturday. Um, what can we look forward to from him? Right, it's, we're, he's a bit of a work in progress. Uh, he won his maiden very well at Scottsville. Um, then his first run out the maidens was in a group one on Gold Cup Day. He, well, he didn't run badly. Uh, I think he got beat six lengths by Sandringham Summit. But his uh, three comeback runs, uh, he's been doing everything upside down. Uh, he's just trying to charge out the gates. So Saturday is more of an exercise to try and bury him in, a, in the six furlong, try and get him to relax, drop the bit, and finish his race off. So probably the six furlong is going to be on the sharp side, but so. Uh, it's just more an exercise to get him to, to try and relax. Super. Well, thank you so much for your time and wishing you a good day at the races. Thank you very much.